Welcome, my name is Clemens Rijn and this is a small video about Test Manager 2010 and some basic scenarios how to execute and create test cases. So first we have to open Test Manager 2010 and that's going to be our environment where we are going to create those test cases. But first we have to select the team project we are connecting to and this is the, the integrated part with the development environments and uh, team foundation server. So when we connect to that environment, uh, we first have to create or, or select a test plan. And in such a test plan, we are uh, maintaining our uh, test cases. And that's what you see over here on the top. You can plan, test, track and organize such a test case in there. So when we first start planning, uh, we have the section over here where we can new or add already created test cases. And I already created two test cases in here. So let's open that one. And when we're looking at such a test case, we can see the most important part immediately. And those are the, the steps you need to fulfill to, uh, to, to execute those test cases. On the bottom, you see uh, three data sets, and those are parameter values we are going to use to execute this test. So actually, we are going to execute this test three times. And on the top, you see the open browser and success logon bold test steps. And those are shared steps, and those are actually pretty powerful pieces of uh, generic steps in a test case. So when we open such a uh, shared step, you can see open, the, the open browser over here and that one browses to a, de a default location and uh, we can create such, an, uh, such a recording um, and reuse that uh, recording in every test case we, we need to open the browser and in this scenario we have to do that for every test case we want to do. So let's jump to the testing part and this is where we're going to execute such a test case so i'm going to select the run over here and then the test runner on the left side docks and we can start testing so i i select the create action recording because we want to rerun this test more than once so the open browser we already recorded that one uh, that's the shared step and the success logon uh, shared step is also one we are going to reuse. Uh, and this is actually a very good example of uh, uh, organizing your shared steps. Because, uh, for example, when development is not ready with the authentication mechanism yet, uh, probably this logon credentials uh, uh, will change uh, uh, when, the pro uh, when the project uh, gets more mature and the, the authentication mechanism is uh, uh, realized. So those credentials will change and uh, now we can re-enter those credentials just in the shared step and record it uh, again and uh, we don't have to do all the hundreds of test cases where we're going to reuse this one. So a very easy way to make some generic pieces of your application. As you can see right now, we are filling in the, the, the values of the parameters and one very funny piece of there is uh, it also immediately snaps to the clipboard. So we only have to do a control V in uh, that section. So the select create button, we have got a validation step over here. That's one successful. And the next step is back to the initial state. And this is one test step I always do. For, for, for when I want to automate uh, this test case in the future and I don't have any problems with uh, double values and that kind of stuff. So we finished our first iteration and you can see there are two test iterations left and those are the, the two other test uh, data sets we had in place in our test case. So and the interesting thing right now is that uh, because we played this test case once, uh, we can replay it with the new values till the validation step. And that's what you see right now. It opens the browsers, we log on, and then we are going to fill in the, the, the values uh, from the other data set. And this is how you add test manager functionality. It really helps the manual tester in executing his tasks. So with the shared steps, uh, you can maintain uh, some generic test case pieces. 
so you don't have to rewrite all your test cases when some value changes and with the replay uh, uh, till a certain validation step uh, the tester uh, doesn't have to do the boring work of filling in all the, the, the values in the other data sets so now I'm going to execute the third data set with this test case and as you can see it opens the browser again and fill in all the values till we need to validate and the expected result is okay then we go back to our initial state oh yeah, first we have to mark it past and as you can see I don't mark every step as past but uh, we have to do that in upfront for the recording that's actually better so when we <clears throat> zoom in we see all our iterations are successful and we can save and close our test execution now all this information you can also find in the team map process template and what we have shown right now is the specification execution phase uh, this information you also can find in the TMAP for Visual Studio 2010 TMAP process template which helps you specifying uh, those tasks you need to do. Uh, this one you can be downloaded from tmap.codeplex.com. Thank you for watching.